Right, here's one of the cheap, tiny RTC DS1307 modules typically found on Amazon and eBay. As many people will know that have built projects using these, they drift quite considerably, usually about five or six seconds a day, making them pretty useless for timekeeping. Um, a solution would be to use a better RTC like the DS3231, but if you bought one of these, then there is a simple way of fixing it in the software. I guess usually it's a design fault with these. It's the position of the crystal, the quality of the crystal, and it's debatable whether the DS1307 is a genuine chip or not. So here's a way of fixing these crappy modules. So I'll show you that now. Right, so basically what this code does, it stops the um, main CPU clock by introducing the delay of one second longer than the calculated time drift. Now what I do with my particular example, I monitor the clock for a week and determine that it gained about six seconds a day. So I wrote this little bit of code to run at exactly nine o'clock every day. So basically what you need to do is put in your main loop an if statement which runs at a certain time of the day. In this case it's nine one minute and zero seconds and then underneath that you um, just make this a bit easier to read. So your first line is introduce a delay for uh, seven thousand milliseconds. So like I say, that needs to be a second longer than the actual perceived time drift. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, the next line it declares a variable uh, which stores a current matter seed time. Obviously. Depending on what RTC library you're using, these will be different, but basically it's grab the time and date from the RTC and store it in that variable. If it were the continue the um, time library, it was something like time dot now equals date time now or whatever it is, uh, but you get what I mean. So once you start it in the value, you'll then need to set the new values, which needs to be the same time that you put in your if statement but one second later. Now that is important because the next line of code will then write time and date back to the RTC and then resumes the CPU clock. Well actually it would all be running with the delays there so but the reason why I'm saying that's a one second rather than zero again is because if you did that this if statement would run again and then it's just going to continuous loop. So you must set it one second after. That's why you need to have a delay of one second longer than the actual perceived time drift, as you can see here in this line here. So in my case, six seconds drift plus one second every second to die by one. So it's as simple as that. That code does actually work. I've been using this clock since 2018, and I only have to set the time twice a year when it's daylight saving times. It's perfectly accurate now and I no longer have to uh, alter the clock every single week. Uh, that's about it really. Um, I'll put a link to my uh, website as well uh, which explains it in more detail once I read through that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching.